Hey Trevs, how you going? Here we are, we're down here at the Waipool River mouth. There's not a soul to be seen down here. Praise the name of Jesus. But there's a lot of dudes fishing further back up yonder the beach there. Way, way on back. Now it is just under an hour. It'll be at 50 minutes to high tide thereabouts and round figures. And we're going to be fishing just where that stump is out there, you can see. Back out in the mouth, that's about where we got that little shark the other day. So hopefully, praise Jesus for fish. And it's a beautiful day here, mate. It really is. Eh? It's nice and cool. It's overcast. And it is the 11th of December, 2022, Sunday. Mumsy's off to church. And I'm going fishing. Praise Jesus. Look at that, Chevs, there's a whole boatload of turns just arrived on their walker. Look where they came from. <laughs> well, it was a bit of a very quiet day fishing. There was a few little yellow eyes, I think, biting out there, but that was about it, eh? Um, nothing substantial, a little bit of current, but nothing to ride home about. Beautiful day on our Lord, as it is. And, uh, yeah, no, we didn't catch anything, but... Uh, Tomorrow, we can have a boil up on the beach, mate, and I've got watercress too at this time of year now, though. ain't that amazing? Yeah, so we're going to have a good old boil up tomorrow and uh, a bit of a fish down here. And uh, cook that boil up should take about an hour to do, I think, because it cooks a lot quicker on an open fire than it does on a, on electric or gas or anything, eh? And uh, I've got all the spuds and the kumara. Uh, I've got the watercress. All I've got to do is pick up the um, 
bacon bones and the soft bones tomorrow. And I think Rangy might be coming. I'm not quite sure if she is or not, but I think she probably will. If the smell of a boil up, mate, I can't see her being too far away. We'll see you tomorrow, Trevs. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And I must say, you're all looking quite handsome. Almost as handsome as me. Praise Jesus, guys. Hey, Trevs, here you go. Right, today's the day of um, reckoning. We're going down the beach. Then we're going to cook a boil up down there, eh? Then have a fish over the high tide, which is in a couple of hours. So, and while we're fishing, the kai's going to be cooking on the on the on the open fire down there, eh? And I'm looking forward to this one because I've never done a boil up on the beach before. So there's a first time for everything, eh? Uh, we'll catch you down the beach, Trevs. Hey, right, Trevs, here we are, down here at the beach. Here's the back of the truck. That's the beach kitchen. And today's the boil up day, mate. So what we're going to do first? We're down here a couple of hours early, or an hour and a half early. Get to go and get the soft bones and the bacon bones and all that, as you do. And we're going to set up the fishing rod, get that ready to cast out, and then get the fire ready to light, and get all the boil up stuff ready. And uh, we'll cast the rod, then light the fire, and the boil up can cook while we're having a good old fish out here, eh? Yeah, praise Jesus for fish, as we do. And it's beautiful here guys, it really really is, it's absolutely beautiful. We've got a, a, a breeze coming from up the north, north northwest, and the sea's as flat as a pancake. Already a small stock pot, eh? Not the other one. The other other one's like a big marae pot, eh? It's huge. But the other one could be down here for an hour or two. But in here, that doesn't matter. Right, got our red kumara. Grows hairs on the chest, traps. There we got spuds here. They all been pre rosted uh, crown pumpkin, that's your best pumpkin for the boil up, eh? Oh gee, yummy yums. And bacon bones from Elgin. And soft bones from Elgin. Now these soft bones always used to be the same price as the bacon bones. These soft bones are now 10 bucks a kilo. Okay. Well their sales pitch is 9.99. But these bacon bones are still 7.99, okay. Still a good feed. Yeah, this towel here, found this in God's warehouse, and that's out here, I found it just up there. In case you're wondering. Right now, this is the beach kitchen, and it's as good as it's going to get. Oh, I'm well, going to show you guys too. Watercress, got two of these. Got them on Saturday down at Kai Tea, eh? And we got heaps of water up the front. Some here too, we'll probably use this old stuff first, I reckon. Right, let's get into it, Trevs. Now, 
we don't put doughboys in our, um, sometimes we do, we do put doughboys in the, in the kai because they clog me up, eh? And uh, I love eating them, man. Oh, trust me, so does, so does old uh, Rangy, eh? She loves them too. But uh, they clog me up, so that's why we don't really put them in the boil ups too often, eh? Otherwise, I'll be sitting on the pucku, mate, and I'll be going, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ching, ching, walla, walla, bang, bang. And I don't think that's too healthy for me. But anyhow, praise Jesus. Look at these soft bones, mate, eh? Grow hairs on your chest, eh? Praise Jesus for soft bones. And bacon bones. And crown pumpkins and everything else that we have. Here's the bacon bones, Trev. Yeah, we they nice to give me a bacon chop down there, eh? Hey, look at that. Praise Jesus. There's your normal bacon bone. Grow hairs on the chest, eh? I see a lot of hair growing on people's chests, including my own. <laughs> I only got a kilo of each, eh? Because we only got the small pot. Now this watercress, eh? Whoops. Why don't you put that on first, I think, and then put the spuds on a bit later on. That's what I normally do, eh? This is pretty good. I've got this on Saturday, and today's Monday, eh? It's looking pretty healthy. Put the odd, odd little wee flower head on there, eh? Nothing worth writing home about, though. But, um, yeah, boy, we were lucky to get this. Praise Jesus, eh? We were down the Kai Tea Market there. Having a bit of a gander in as you do. And uh, this guy turned up on his little scooter. They were a bit dear though, I think. They were six bucks a bag. Eh? I thought that was a little bit rich actually. Some of these have got a bit of root on them too, eh? But anyhow, grub is grub. Now with the water, I bought it down like this instead of bringing our usual keg, eh? All you do is just cover the bones with water, okay? And that's what I'll do. I'll just cover the bones with water. Probably one more bottle. That's pretty good. I think these are about 600 mil. I ain't got no label on them, eh? What a beautiful day out here, eh? Praise Jesus, mate. Honestly. Make hay while the sun shines, eh? That's that done, Trevs. Time to get that rod in the water very shortly. It's going to show you this, guys. See that there? That's as full as it gets. Just enough to cover these bones, mate. And uh, then you throw the rest of the goodies in. Praise Jesus! Good. There it is all over there, Trebs. Fire's going well. And uh, we're going to go down and cast that rod out now, mate. Just going to throw a couple more trees on there.
He'll first cast troops. That rod spike there, or rod holder, I bought for a number of years. It's five foot long, it's about the same height as this. It's done it for you. It's quite heavy, it's made in New Zealand, it's 50 bucks for $49. And, uh, it's Kiwi mate, oh geez, he's solid mate. And uh, I think it won't be too heavy and too big for it. Five footer. Saw a doggy's day out to ride. Oh dear, I hope they don't come up here because of the ball up. Oh, that would be interesting, wouldn't it, Trevs, eh? Wow. Well, we still see flames up there, so where there's smoke and flames, I suppose there's a fire, isn't there? Yeah, it's going to be interesting, all these dogs, that would be 20 or 30 dogs with them, eh? going to check on the kite. Just check the ball up, she's starting to steam already, eh? and that's probably, it certainly wouldn't be 10 minutes, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. That's all on good. Let's put the second lot of watercress in once she's boiled a bit for about 5-10 minutes. Then we'll put all the veggies in on top of that. Nice and overcast here today, Trebs. It's beautiful. Keeps that heat away, eh? Nice cool breeze coming in from the up in the north there. The west. Fish, you, know, you get fishing conditions like this, you think there'd be millions of fish there, but you know, compared to the Northland beaches, mate, up by Bailey's and Tinapai, Hokianga and all that. Um, the fishing's way better up there, it's actually better around the water. The problem I have with Wainui is um, fishing off the rocks there, all the, all the snags and everything. That spike, mate, that extra foot, because the other one got a four footer. That extra foot really takes that line right up and above, eh? Might have to have a camp out there near soon, Trevs. Very soon, I think. Just go and check the fire. Don't forget to wash them bites. Well, that's boiling already. That was only about three minutes, two or three minutes since I last saw it. Just put a bit more wood on there, eh? Found a um, empty 40 ounce vodka bottle up there, eh? Thought we were pretty much cooking in that. I better take him home. Because some people have got to learn, man. You know, the damage broken glass and stuff can do your feet, mate.
looking good from here, mate. Taste it in my cooking, you know. Yummy yums. Yeah, goes. All in the way there, just going to get the spuds and the pumpkin and the kumara ready. Oh, better take this smelly old glove off. A few, few flies are in here, they can take a hike. Right. This is pumpkin all ready to go, isn't it? Yeah, we can fly it. She's motoring along quite nicely, that boiler. These uh, pumpkins, eh? Last year's been kept in the cool stores, I think. And uh, the last time I saw a pumpkin at packing, so man, it was $16 for a little wee freaking pumpkin. You know, there should be laws against that sort of carry on, mate. We grow all ours. We run out this year, it's the first time for a while that we've run out. Well, you can go in the water press bag, because I don't think we're going to need all of them. Well, they have eyes bigger than my stomachs, Trev, what do you reckon? Or well, stomach, I should say, not stomachs. There'll be some pumpkins growing down here, mate. <laughs> okay, see? So. Alright, get the pumpkins done. Whack up a couple of Murphys. I like these red fellas, eh? Now, surf caster looks as dead as it all now, mate. Be enough spuds, mate. Take those home and some kumara. Yeah, a lot of people like to peel their kumaras. A lot of people peel them, eh? But I don't. I used to, but I don't anymore. Because my son, up in Dargaville, he said cook it with the skin on, Dad, so we did. You know, until he grows ears on the chest, mate, it was beautiful, eh? Right, that's probably about us, guys. We'll do one more coomer, eh? I well, like coomers. Give me a small one, mate. Right now, this is all going in the pot, mate. Here's a couple of plates of uh, kumara and spud and pumpkin, all the goodies, Trevs, eh? Look at that. Grows hairs on the chest, mate. I'm telling you. Oh, mate, this is making me hungry, eh? Real hungry. That, just the right amount, eh? Praise Jesus. There's some more wood on there. Look at this, Chiefs. Found this on the beach, eh? 40 ounce vodka, mate. Shocking state of affairs. Better take it home, eh? Yeah, drop the spat in the thing. Doesn't matter. You're right away. Gee, that fire's hot, mate. I'm telling you. That's good. That's why things cook a lot better and a lot quicker, eh? Well, tell you, mind you guys get out and do it, eh? Don't be shy, just go and do it. Well, there you have it, Trev. Fires on, rods in the water, and that bait looked as though it hardly been touched at all. Rangie's not here, she's, um, she's at home just cleaning the joint up, eh? Put a 
a heap of people coming for Christmas for hangi and all that sort of carry on. I can still see flames and smoke and steam, and that's the main thing. Oh gosh, it looks like they're letting the dogs out. <laughs> Looks like they're letting all the hounds out. Praise Jesus. They're pretty well behaved, those dogs, eh? But good on them. It's a good little business for them, I reckon. It's starting to pick up. Just a bit of wind in and go home soon, mate, if it gets much stronger, eh? I can't see any white horses yet. Sure, what we'll do tomorrow, we'll come back down the beach for a feed. I think. A bit of a fish and a feed. Not that we seem to catch any fish. Shocking. Yeah, those fellas get on with those contickies and all that. Seems in the middle. They wouldn't be catching much fish, eh? Beautiful day out here, Trevor. It really is, eh? Get out to be a cracker. Fred Daggy's the same. Quite like old Fred and Daggy Boy and all these things. And your Trevs. Point five metres. Now, that bait hadn't even been looked at, mate. I don't know what's going on. Here. <laughs> yeah, there's a pot on the fire, Trevs, and the, to the right there, that white container that's full of water ready to put the fire out. And that kai there is pretty much done. We just got it, and by the grace of God, mate, we got it just in time. She just about run out of water, eh? But praise Jesus, we got there just in time, eh? There you go, Trevs. It's a bit of kumara. Yummy yams. Oh, my beautiful. Nicely cooked watercress, mate. Grows hairs on that chest. Nothing wrong with that, man. It's all done that kai, mate, so I think we might scarp her off home. Have a feed with Ringy, eh? I oh, know she's got a bit on today, so hopefully she can sit in for a feed. So we'll see you at home, Trevs. Too many hot coals there, Trebs. Where the guy? Tell me. I think he saw it happen. Someone buried the fire in sand, and um, a, a, a young child went and walked straight into it, eh? I hate to know what the results were. And he suggested to put him out with fire, not just sand. That's why we do the water on the fire, and he just covered in sand too. Uh, best to use water, get the fire out, and then cover it with sand, eh? Right, just wait for that grape to cool down and uh, we can rock and roll home. There you go, Trevs, look at that. That's the grub. Oh, yummy yums. That's mine. There's Rangies. Yummy yums. 
Thank you, Father, for this food and your blessings this day. In the name of Jesus, we're truly thankful. Amen. Mate, this is absolutely beautiful, eh? I can't believe this. I've never had a ball up that tastes like this, man. I mean, it's just a cook up down the beach. Praise Jesus. Mmm. Absolutely beautiful, man. Oh. Mmm. Here comes Rangy. It's mm. getting ready for Christmas, I suppose. I still want to clean up before the family turns up. Mmm. Oh, well, honey, next week. Yeah. Father, thank you, Father, for this yummy boil up in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen. You gotta try it before you should pray about it. <laughs> this is good. Mm. This is good, mate. Doggy's day out there near today. Oh. Is that what you're saying, doggy day, yeah? Mm. Beautiful trip. <laughs> Yummy. Mm. Catch you in the next video, Trevs.